What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe InDesign. And I've got to tell you people, I love this program. Now, I, I tried to use it back years ago. I'm talking probably around the CS2, CS3 era, and it was so gibberish to me back then that I just couldn't get it. I couldn't grasp the concept of it. Sort of like After Effects. I mean, back during that time, I reckon... My mind just wasn't into it like it is today, and I just couldn't grasp the concept of using these type of programs. So I sort of shied away from them and went over to the, the easier programs, the Microsoft Publisher, and uh, so forth like that. And so, but anyway, I love InDesign, okay? I've always been a writer ever since I was in school. I love to write poems, uh, books, and just all sorts of stuff. And so... I'm getting ready to start, or actually have already started writing my first book. And I'm not going to say what it is yet. It's a surprise. But anyway, um, I'm using InDesign to do it. I, I write it out in Microsoft Word, and I bring it inside of InDesign. And so, but anyway, what I'm going to do is that whatever I learn how to do, I'm going to turn around and teach everybody that wants to learn how to use InDesign. And so the first thing that we want to do here is, uh, as you can see, we, we're, we're blank. We don't have nothing open. So uh, it depends on what you want to work with. Uh, let's come over here to edit uh, on Mac. you got to click on the little Mac thing and come down to Preferences. And so we come down to Preferences. Let's just go ahead and click on General. And so we're not going to go through all of this stuff. That information is readily available on the Internet. So what I want to do is I'm going to come down here to Units and Increments. And so it depends on what you want to set your uh, your publication up as. And so I would rather deal with inches because I'm in the United States. I like inches. inches. <laughs> so we're going to choose inches and inches. Inches. Y'all excuse me. I just, I can't talk today. And so, but anyway, this right here is going to have, so there's going to be a ruler guide up here and here. So our horizontal and our vertical, it's both going to be set to inches. And so that's basically all that we're going to do here. So uh, nothing else that we need to do. Nope. So let's go ahead and click OK. So now we come over here to File, New Document. Now when we open this up, it shows inches. Now if we did not do this, then it would show pica right here. And uh, I'm not very familiar with pikas, so I prefer like I said, to deal with inches. And so what we're going to do is uh, we'll run through this really quick. Your intent is print, web, and digital publishing. Web is not a web page, so do not think that you can come inside of InDesign and create a web page and deliver it to the internet like you would use uh, like Adobe Dreamweaver or any other front page and so forth. But anyway, that is not what it is. It's like a PDF file and so forth like that. Anything that's going to be delivered via your screen is going to be web. Then you got digital publishing. Digital publishing will take you to iPad, iPhone, Kindle Fire, Android, or you can choose a custom layout. But it gives you these four options, that's your typical options. But what we're going to do is that we're going to set this as print. And print, basically like this one lesson that I've, I've watched, and yes, I do watch lessons to learn how to do this stuff, was that basically this is the catch-all of everything. Like it, it covers 99% of every, every document that is designed within InDesign is using the print layout. And so but anyway, uh, we're going to start off with one page, uh, start page one. Facing page is right here. If you're going to write a book, you got page one, page two, page three, page four. The pages are facing each other, okay? If you're looking at the book and you got it open up and you got page three and page four in front of you, that is what facing pages is. So if you're going to do a book type of layout, you want to have facing pages. If you're going to do a booklet or a uh, brochure or uh, a, uh, a flyer or so forth like that, then you would uncheck this. However, we're going to leave it checked. Now, primary text frame means that if you're going to write a story and it's going to be, it's going to take up the entire page of each one, then what primary text frame would do is that it will add in a text frame inside of each and every new document that you create. We're not going to do that, so we're going to leave that off, but it is there in case you need it. 
and then you got your columns we're going to leave it setting at one we're going to leave it together we're going to leave everything here but yeah you can click on the preview and that you can actually see a preview of this area as you're working on it as you're adding in the margins your bleed and slug this right here is like your bleed off like if you if uh, your print is going to print then you want to set it for bleed off and so we're just going to leave that alone we're going to come over here and choose okay then it's, it's going to create our new document for us so we can come over here and click on pages if you don't see pages come over here to windows make sure the pages is checked i've got mine set for advanced you've got different type of options this is for this area here you can come down it's usually set for essentials and then it will change the essentials here but you will always have your pages right here i want mine set to advanced because it gives me my paragraph styles and my character styles this is our first document right here this is what we've got in our project so far but you see up here we've got a none page we click on it and but you click on the a master and right here is going to show you both of our pages here this is our hypothetically our page one and our page two what the master pages are for is that whatever you do here will be applied to all of your pages down here so let's say that you want to um, add in a title you would come over here grab a hold of text and you would type in uh this is my title and let's make that just a little bit bigger okay so we need to add in something else let's go ahead and add it in there you go so your first page is not going to pick it up but your second page here picked up this is my title so you cannot edit this if you want to edit it you have to go into your master page and come over here and edit it now if you want to duplicate this and put it over here you hold down the alt key and you drag it over to here and whenever you hold down the alt key you'll see this uh, bluish green line appear there that means you're holding down the right key and it's not going to move the original one it's just going to copy it over let's go ahead and move that over to here and so now this right here is picking up on our right page as you can see right hand side and this one right here is picking up on our left master page and so having the master page uh, allows you to add information in that will feed down here but let's say that you don't want the uh, information from your master page to affect one of your pages well that's simple right click on the page that you do, do not want it to affect choose apply master to pages when the dialog open uh, when the dialog opens it's going to show you which page it is it's also going to show apply master so what you do is that you come over here and you choose none whenever you choose none and you click ok it is not there so it will not apply nothing to that particular one but yet it's still on this one so uh, the easy way to see is that you see this little a here that means it's a master applied this one right here does not have nothing it is none applied so that's the easy way to see which ones have your master applied to it and which ones do not it's an easy way for you to go in and say like uh, this right here can be the inside or the outside so this right here would be your main page and then you would come in then you would add one here this would be uh, maybe your little introduction and then this one right here would be would be a page for you to uh, add in your your thanks so then your actual master page is going to start here so it would start on page four but your one two and three will all work off of a none okay so but then you would click here and then you would start your next page over and then continue on down the line so we got one two three four pages that are feeding off the master and one two three pages that are feeding off none also one other thing let's add one more thing to this we can come over here let's say that these three right here you want to have them on something else so we come over here we create a new master and then we're going to do b it's going to be master and we're just going to leave everything here and number of pages uh we're going to have it too because we do have multiple pages here about uh, two facing pages click ok now with this one selected we can come over here and we can let's just come over and grab a hold of this then come over to here 
and then paste it. Drag it up. And this right here, we're going to rename it. And yes, you just saw me click on it. Now, if it's a, a text box, even though we've got our arrow selection tool selected, if you double click, it will automatically go to your text tool so that you can start typing. So this is the other master pages. Okay, now let's grab a hold of it, hold down Alt, drag this over to this side. That way it applies it to both sides. Now we can come over here and we're going to select all three of these right here. We're going to right click and choose Apply Master. And then one through three, we're going to come down and choose B Master and choose OK. So now this right here is our A Master and this is our B Master. So now these pages are going to pick up on our B Master. These are going to pick up on our A master. So you can come in here and you can do all sorts of things to our A and our B, and it will only affect the ones that it is working on here. So that's going to be our B's and our A's. Okay, but that would be lesson number one of our InDesign series. Y'all have a rocking time now. Bye-bye.